Welcome back to yet another edition. In this uh, session, we are going to understand a bit more on UPI one bird and how it differs from the normal UPI which we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So what exactly is this UPI one world? For travelers visiting India, UPI one world is the ultimate solution for hassle-free and secure digital payments. While we as Indian citizens, we use UPI by scanning the QR code and it debits the Indian bank account, which we have immediately. But for NRIs and for foreigners who visit India, they may not have a bank account. So how do they have the convenience of UPI? This was developed jointly by the NPCI under the guidance of RBI and rolled out in July 2024 and has met with limited success. We look at the workflow, the onboarding process, the usage and what are the limitations. The onboarding process is pretty simple. You just install the One World Issuer app. We have a lot of vendors who offer that, ICCA, IDFC, Pine Labs and so on. The popular apps are Check, Money, which you can download from the Play Store. So once you have installed, all you have to do is to visit the issuer counters. Either they are there in the bank branches of ICCI or IDFC, or they would have counters at the international airport uh, entry points. The KYC is pretty straightforward. You just have to present your passport and visa. Once that is done, you load the wallet, that is the app, with Indian rupees. You could use your foreign credit card, debit cards, uh, foreign currency cash or a forex card and the wallet is ready for use. Use it. You use it like any other UPI app. Just open the UPI app, scan it on the QR code and then pay using the UPI pin which you would have set up during the onboarding process. It's as simple as that. The max balance is 200,000 INR at any point of time but it is to be noted that it can be used only as P2M or P2PM and not for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. That's the current limitation. RBI is looking at expanding it further. The balance gets refunded on exiting India. So when the foreigner or the NRI leaves India uh, during the exit, you will have the counters where you can get it refunded as cash or to your card. It's free to use like the normal UPI which we use. However, currency conversion charges apply based on the platform you use to convert. The key differences are the normal UPI debits the bank account as we are familiar with instantly. However, the one word UPI is a PPI, it's a prepaid instrument, it's a wallet. So it's debit the wallet immediately when you use it. You need a KYC compliant Indian bank account. Whereas in one world, you just need a passport and visa for getting this wallet. It can be used for P2P and merchants. However, one word, as I mentioned, is usage used for only merchants. No charges for loading and unloading. However, for one word, you need to have, you need to pay for the FCY conversion charges, which is more for the conversion charge and not the platform charge. Finally, for using a normal UPI, use a UPI TPAP application like GPA or the ones provided by your bank. Whereas for one word, you need to use the One World Issuer app based on the vendors uh, like IDFC, Pine Labs, Transact and so on. Hope this gave you a good idea of UPI One World. Next, we are going to look at UPI Circle next video. Thank you.